So Honey Boo Boo actually took me to her favorite place on earth and turns out I slept really well that night because she's got boundless energy and a love of sock skating. Take a look. One, two. She's the sassy seven-year-old known around the world as Honey Boo Boo. Speaking of the daughter, can you get my ears pierced? Her family, self-proclaimed rednecks from McIntyre, Georgia. This is what we call a redneck air conditioner. It keeps you cool, keeps you wet. They love food. She wants a three combo in the ribs with the barbecue chicken. And potato salad and baked beans. Family and fun. Come on, come on. So it's no wonder the Fun Factory is Honey Boo Boo's favorite place to play. A local arcade where people roller skate. But we did some sock skating. Climbing around in this contraption. And bonding so much that Alana even gave me her purple bows to wear in my own hair. It was exhausting, even for me, with two little girls at home. Take these shoes. She's the typical seven-year-old. I mean. She's not typical. <laughs> I'm she, not typical. She's not. Indeed, as we saw, she likes to chant, honey, boo, boo, honey, boo. burst into song, and waste away the day, let's just favorite. lay here and be lazy, baby, drop me cut. And of course, when does your belly decide to talk? Belly decided to talk right now. Oh, no, 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 no belly talk today. <laughs> what, is, what does the belly say? I can't wait till I do the jump. With a hit show comes fame and money. But what's remarkable is how little, at least in terms of material things, their lives have changed. You have a nice paycheck you didn't have before. And, and do you have any plans to change your life? No, why would I? Because we do so much for the community. If you watch our show, our Christmas episode, I have to say, was the most dearest to our heart. We raised thousands of dollars thanks to our fans. And we raised tons of toys. We met thousands of people. Um, we raised over 10,000 canned goods. I mean, we, so we was able to... <laughs> You're bringing tears to Alana's eyes. Aww. Honey Boo Boo jokes, but Mama June is serious. You have not let the money and the fame go to your head. I would really like to expand our house to two bedrooms and another bathroom, but, you know... It's not at the top of your priorities. No. In fact, Sugar Bear still works seven days a week at the local chalk mine. Mama June still does extreme couponing, the only major purchase they've made is a used truck, and the money from the show is being put into trust funds for college, and that's all had a huge impact on the kids. The only thing I asked for Christmas was an iPod. An iPod? Yeah. But you could buy a lot more than that. They don't ask for anything. You would, you would think that they would ask, I would ask, but not my kids. That's amazing. Smart lessons for any parent. Cookies, no! <laughs> and look, this is a lifestyle that a lot of people, you know, their, their jaw drops. They're like, people, but I gotta tell you, there's a lot of love in that yeah. house. Mm -hmm. And there's, for all their silliness, they're extremely confident. They, they, there's just nothing that makes them feel uncomfortable. And I think that's a huge gift to give your kids. And for the crazy behavior, there's a lot of actual common sense talk mm -hmm. that goes on. I, you know, because we were, yeah, I know we, what you're gonna and say. We, well, we met her this weekend. We met yeah. Mama June this weekend at the GLAAD Awards. Lovely woman, like a yep. really lovely woman. Mm -hmm. And re it meant a lot for her to be there yeah. that night. Yeah. And as you said, they're so charitable. Right? They are. They give a, they, they said mm -hmm. they would give the shirt off their back and you know what I believe them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Same. And yes. making some making some good family decisions. Right. You can see here comes Honey Boo Boo on TLC and head to goodmorningamerica.com uh, to get all the information.